Hello everyone, I'm doing another favorites video today. This is July 2017. I have jewelry, shoes, sunglasses, tops, bottoms, uh, a lipstick, a variety of items. I'll put all the information about everything I show on my blog, including photographs and links. And if I can find any similar items as well, I'll put those on my blog too. And I'll put the link to my blog under this video here at YouTube. It will say get, the, get these looks and you just click on the link that follows that. If you want to know as soon as I've posted a new video or a new blog post, you might consider subscribing to my blog. That's at jljbacktoclassic.com. I'll put the link to that subscription information down below also because people who subscribe to my blog find out firsthand when I post a new video or a new blog post. So why don't we start with lipstick since I always start with the makeup. And this one is by Gabrielle. The color is pomegranate. It's a, well depending on the lighting, it can look like a blueberry merlot or like a bluish red. It depends. I'm not sure how it will look on camera, but I know in the window when I was looking in the mirror, it kind of looks like a blueberry merlot. I've worn it, let's see, I've had this for about a month and I've been wearing it during the day for casual looks by wearing shea butter and then taking some of this on my fingertip and mixing it on my lips with the shea butter and it creates a really pretty natural looking tint, um, very creamy, sheer, sheer tint, really pretty color, but you don't need the shea butter, it's very moisturizing, stays on really well, it works like a stain but much more moisturizing than a stain, definitely. Moving on to sunglasses. These are brand new. I've only had them, let's see, a week. And they're by Kate Spade. They are black. They're not too big. I like that they're bold, but again, still understated. Kate Spade does a great job at that. The lens also is a bit darker on top and gets lighter on the bottom. I think that's interesting looking. Very pretty sunglasses. Now I tried to find them in stores and online and I, I can't find these exact ones or this exact model at Kate Spade or at any stores, but I found some very similar shapes, the same colors also in other colors. Let me show you some of those here. So those are my new sunglasses by Kate Spade. She makes terrific accessories, terrific sunglasses. The next item I want to show you is jewelry. It's earrings by Bobble Bar. Now, I have never had anything by Bobble Bar before, and I found these, actually at the same time I was shopping for the sunglasses, I found, I found the earrings. And these are Druzy. They're a peach color. They are a perfect size in terms of the stone. They're not too heavy. Let me show you what they look like on me. I wasn't able to find this exact color anymore, but I did find the exact earring by Bobble Bar in a black druzy or maybe it's a like a dark gray druzy those Kendra Scott druzy earrings are available in 11 colors and they are $65 
My next item is also a pair of earrings, but they're a little bit smaller. These are Pave CZ earrings. I love the delicate nature of these. I love that they're sparkly so they show up on my ear, but they're definitely understated enough that I can wear them with very casual outfits, t-shirt and a, jean, a pair of jeans. Let me show you what they look like on my ears. These are available in silver or gold tone and they're $14.97. That's a really great price for such a cute pair of earrings. I love them. Absolutely love them. I also found this great ring when I was shopping for the jewelry and my sunglasses. I think this ring is fabulous. It's costume, but it looks very real. It has great presence on the hand. You can definitely see it, but it's simple. I think it's just so attractive. And how much was this? Let me see. I have to look at my notes here. The ring is $12.97. $12.97. So that's still available and I've put that information on my blog. Next is the earrings that I'm wearing. And these are by Kate Spade. These are also still available. I think they are gorgeous. I would wear these with dressy outfits, day or evening, because they're big and bold. Other people might not. Actually, they probably look cute with jeans, high heels, and um, maybe a blazer. But again, that's dressing up the jeans a bit more. I've started my Christmas shopping already, so I'm not waiting till the last minute. These would make a great gift. They're just so pretty. Next, I want to show you my watch. I'm wearing it. This is also Kate Spade. I tell you, she makes fantastic accessories. It is black leather, and it has a scalloped detail leather inset in it. And then around the face of the watch is a white scallop. Let me show you close up. This watch was $195. It is now $95.97. Really great looking watch. I also found another pretty black and white, or actually black and off-white watch by Kate Spade that's striped. Let me show you that one. This is a black striped silicone watch, and it's $150. Really cute watch, really cute watch. So is that all my jewelry? Let me check, make sure on my list here. It is, so we're moving on to shoes. So this pair of shoes I just got, I have not worn. They are by Michael Kors. They are elastic, as you can tell, but you really can't tell once you're wearing them. As you can see, they straighten out and they don't look elasticized. They're two-tone. I love the light camel and the black patent leather toe and then the bow. Such a pretty ballet flat. These also have a lower profile. Can you see how the heel is high but then it swoops down low? I think that's really sassy looking. Those look great with skirts, with a pencil skirt, with cropped pants, cropped jeans, skinny jeans. Such a great looking shoe also cushioned so they feel like they're going to be comfortable obviously I haven't worn them yet but um, I just thought those were so good looking let me see how much they were these were they're $78.95 and they come in two different colors let me show you the pictures
I love both of them, I, but I already have a pair of black flats, so I got the two-tone. I thought those were so good looking. Next is another pair of shoes. These I've had a couple of weeks, but haven't gotten to wear these yet either. These, oh, this is such a great invention. These are by Vionics, so they have actual orthopedic footbed. And this is my second pair of Vionics. It's such a great brand. I hurt my feet wearing flip-flops. A couple of years ago, I helped um, my mom move out of her condominium when she moved to the retirement community. And for a week, I was moving furniture and boxes, and I was wearing just flip-flops. I destroyed my feet. I couldn't walk. I'd never felt that before when you, I think I'd collapsed my arch. And I didn't want to have to wear orthopedic shoes. So I ordered some sandals by Vionic, and I wore only those for a couple of weeks whenever I needed to go out. And then inside I wore a pair of tennis shoes with uh, orthopedic inserts, and my feet were healed. So I mean, these are terrific shoes. Um, what makes these also wonderful is they're actually two pairs of shoes in one. This is actually strap. There's a, a adjustable strap which you can actually adjust to your foot. I've made it smaller for my foot. So you just take this out, put the insert in, and you have a completely different looking shoe. Isn't that fabulous? I'll show you this in an outfit at the end of the video. In fact, I'll show you all the clothing I'm going to wear in outfits at the end of the video. I just think that's such a great idea to have two very different looks. So these will work all summer long, all fall, and down here all winter as well. Such great looking shoes. Now, how much were these? I believe these are on sale, and they are, let me see, they were $99, and they're now $67.32. Oh my gosh, what? They're terrific shoes. I've tried them on. I've walked around the house. They're so comfortable. My next pair of shoes was a complete splurge. I just think these are gorgeous. Kate Spade. Yes, Kate Spade again. Love her brand. These are patent leather. Is the bow gorgeous? I mean, not bow. The flower gorgeous with the leaves. All leather. Uh, the height is just the perfect height, I found. They're so comfortable. And the heel, because it's more of a block heel, it, it makes a difference. I'm trying to think. I don't, I'll put down below what the height is. I think it's about two and a half inches. So pretty with dresses, with skirts, also with pants. I love the sling back because it's easier to fit the foot, I think. You can adjust it. Let me see, how much were these? These are not on sale, unfortunately, but they are $3.28. So that's why they were a splurge. Comes in four different colors. Let me show you the colors. Sticking with pink or blush, I'm moving on to clothing that happens to be that color. And this cardigan. Now, if you saw my last post, you'll remember this cardigan. It's a long, open front cardigan linen blend. This thing is so comfortable in this hot weather. It's super lightweight, as you can see. It's sheer, so it's great for summer. It's wonderful with leggings, with skinny jeans. It hides everything in back, but you can still sort of see through, so it gives that feeling that you can see your whole outfit. It's just a great sweater. Let me show you what it looked like on me. I absolutely love this sweater. I'm wearing the extra small. It says it runs large. The extra small is my normal size and it worked fine. Such a pretty cardigan. My next one is also a cardigan and blush, but I'll show you it's a different color of blush. 
So this one is more mauve blush. This one is more peachy pink blush. It's also not a long cardigan. It is a regular length, or maybe you could call that cropped. I'm not sure, depending on... I think that's a regular length. But it has really pretty ribbon detailing. This is a blend. Let me see. It is a blend of 82% viscose, 18% nylon. Just a lovely, lovely cardigan. It's three-quarter sleeves. And let me show you what it looks like on me. The next item I want to show you I'm actually wearing, and it is this blouse from Talbots. It's called a portrait collar blouse, and I guess because it creates a frame for your face. When I saw this online, I was fascinated. I thought, will that look right on me? I love it on the models. I, you know, I couldn't imagine. I've never tried on this kind of a neckline, and I love it. So I went down to the store, and they had it in stock. I'm actually wearing a petite because I like the slimmer profile of the smallest petite size. Normally, I'm, I range between a extra. I'm not sure. Do they have extra small at Talbots? Yes, I think they have extra small um, or two. So depending on the item, sometimes I have to move into petite, and that was the case with this blouse. Let me show you what it looks like on the model online because they have a close-up of the, the back. My next item is this flawless five-pocket slim angle jean by Talbots. I actually bought these, when, a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Now, one thing I want to say is I bought the size 2, which is my typical size in bottoms at Talbots and tops. But they were a bit more loose fitting than I wanted, so I actually washed these jeans probably initially about three times and then dried them about three times in super hot temperature to shrink them a bit. This photo shows the jeans after they've been washed, you know, three or so times and dried in really hot temperature. I love that fit, you know, just comfortable, just loose enough that they are casual, comfortable for running errands around town. Perfect. Well, they brought this pant back, that's why I'm showing you, but I tried it on in the store and it fits now very close, if not the same, to the way these pants fit once I shrunk them. This next item I want to show you actually has a story behind it. I bought these jeggings last fall when I did the Talbots try-on video at their store. Was it September? I think that's when I did it. These were the jeggings. I bought them, fell in love with them. This was Shoreline Wash, which was a dark gray, again, charcoal color. I love that color because I have it in the regular jeans too and loved them. Well, I have been looking for a pair of blue jeans that were ankle length or 29 inch and high-waisted for, I don't know, a year and a half and have not had any luck. Well, Talbots contacted me recently by email and asked if they could send me a gift card to pick out an item or items at their store to possibly feature on my blog or in a video and of course I said yes because I love Talbots. I have been contacted by other brands over the last two years and more recently quite a bit in the last maybe six to eight months by jewelry brands, clothing, shoe brands, handbag companies, 
skincare companies, but none of them were a right fit. I did not accept anything from any of them because they weren't things I would have bought, let alone wear. But when Talbots con contacted me, I said, yes, please. So I wanted to let you know these are gifted to me. This is what I picked out. My new, finely, high-waisted, these are skinny jeans. They call them jeggings, which I guess is a combination of leggings and jeans, but they're what I would call skinny jeans. And I think they're a perfect skinny jean. They're high-waisted. I love the high-waisted look. It For me, it's more elongating, I think, because my torso is so long. I do everything I can to elongate my legs, even if I'm going to wear flats, which I love to wear. These are just such a great looking jean. They're slim fitting, well, they're skinny fitting, um, and so attractive, but they're so comfortable. I was saying to somebody at the store, I could actually sleep in these. That, I think, is all of my items. I hope you saw things that you liked. If you've got any comments or questions, just leave them here at YouTube in the comments section below, or if you're on my blog viewing this, please leave them in the comments section, section on my blog, or on Facebook or Instagram. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.